Hey friends, I'm so glad to see you all today. My name is Brian and I can't wait to worship and learn together with you on this beautiful day. This month we're being reminded that there isn't anything that God cannot handle. No matter what may be going in our lives, we know that God's got it. We serve a big and awesome God who is always with us. In fact, our memory verse this month found in Joshua 1.9 says just that. Why don't we say it all together? God is with you wherever you go. That's right. He's with us all the time. All right. Are you guys ready to worship? Everyone up on your feet. Let's sing and celebrate our God who loves us and is with us wherever we go. Then stick around to check out the week's true story from the Bible. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me, always with me. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. <laughs> it's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh, but you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no! Ready? Oh no! Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh. Great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. 
Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm, let's help her watch, okay? Everyone look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow, it's a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story. And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. What an incredible story about how God has everything under control. I want you guys to know that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you no matter where you go or what you do. You don't ever have to worry. You can trust that God's got it. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear Heavenly Father, we just ask you this morning to uh, help us in difficult times when they come our way. Just like you helped Moses and his family, um, we just ask you, Lord, that you can help us go through those rough times and be victorious at the end. We trust you, Lord, and we love you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Captivate Kids, I had such an amazing time hanging out with you all today. I hope you did as well, and I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.